Welcome back everyone. We're here today to show you the SCM TI145 EP class spin remodeler. This machine is an absolute monster. It's got a huge variety of options. So you've got automated movement in all the axes so you can move your spindle up and down, tilt it forward and backwards, move the whole fence backwards and forwards automatically. The tilt has got a range of 45 and a half degrees in the positive and negative. You've got the extra long tables on this and an extendable fence out the front, two and a half meters of workspace. You have an adjustable table opening so you can make the gap as small as possible between the cutter and the table. We've got a digital display up the top here, which is where you control all of the axes. It has a powerful nine kilowatt motor going from 3000 to 10,000 RPM. You've got a built-in power supply and controls for your power feed. There's also a built-in shore guard and a mechanical display for the step fence function, but there's a whole load more, so let's just show you how it works. So this is the digital display. Along the bottom here, you can see your main power button. So you've got the on and off for the spindle. You can reverse the rotation here. You've got the brake release, the on and off for your power feed, and the lock for your spindle so you can change the tools. And then up here, you've got your di display. You've got your function buttons along the bottom. These control each one of the axes. You have your keypad on the side here. This allows you to access the different menus. So as you can see on here, you've got program writing at the top. You can save the axes dimensions where they are, calculator, calibration screen for the axes, and you can see how long the machine has been running for. And then under the execute screen, you can see you've got your program list here. This is where you can save locations for every single tool that you've got, and automatically move every axis to the required position. We're gonna show you a little bit more about that as we write a program. From the home screen, you can select which axis you want to move. So we're moving it manually upwards. Hold the blue button, you can see your display changing. And it's all moving up and down. So now we're gonna select the fence. We're gonna choose the manual low position. Hold the blue button. And the fence is now gonna to move to wherever we decide to stop. So now for automatic movement, you can simply use the keypad up here, type in an absolute position, press the blue button, the fence moves to a safe position. It makes you sure, make sure you check for collisions, press the enter button, and the axis moves to the desired location. So now we're gonna go into program writing for the tool we have in here. So if we choose the program writing function, find the program we want to create, give it a name using the keypad at the top here, and then press the enter button. And then this is where you can put in your different locations for each axis. When you're happy with it, you can press the enter button and this is now saved. And then from the home screen, we will use the execute button, choose the program, press enter. So now the blue light lights up, and every axis is ready to move. And then the machine has reached its desired location for that program. So now we're going to adjust the table openings and the shore guard so that we're ready to run some material through. So the first thing I need to do is release the spindle brake. This allows me to spin the tool around so I can make sure nothing is going to collide. I'm going to use the handle at the front. This goes into the table opening. I'm going to close this up. It's close to the cutter. You don't want a gap of any more than eight millimeters. So now that I can freely spin the tool around, just make sure that nothing is going to collide with that. I'm then going to do the same with the side guards here. Just bring that in. And 
and the left one as well. Make sure they're nice and tight. Bring the head cover over. And now I'm ready to put the shore guard into the correct position. So now using this pull pin, you can bring the shore guard over and lock it into position. We then go on and do all of these adjustments. Let's bring it down towards the table. And just make sure they're tightened back up again when they're in the correct position. So now what we'll do is move this in. Bring our material so that it's in the correct position. And then the height pressure guard as well wants to come down. So the so now we need to make sure the brake is engaged again. We need to make sure our spindle is going in the correct rotation. And then we can power it up and put the wood through. So now that we have done a cut, we're just going to walk you through changing a tool. So we're going to do the reverse of the setup. First thing we're going to do is get our shore guard out of the way. We can then remove the hood and open up our fences. We'll then get the table opening out of the way as well. And now we're ready to change the tool. So the first thing we're going to do is release the spindle brake. This allows us to spin the tool freely. And we're then going to lock it into the position to be able to undo the bolt at the top. So the machine comes with all of the tooling required to change your spindle molder cutter. First thing is to undo the Allen key bolt at the top. You then have a set of spaces and block.
and then we're ready to set up our next toolpath. And there you have it, that's the TI-145 EP class spindle moulder made by SCM. This machine is capable of a huge amount more than what we've shown you. It has a variety of options available. If you want to get in touch, please feel free to give us a call or an email. Our details are below.